Remind me again why I agreed to play this stupid game by Sid Meber or whoever. It's Sid Meier Civilization 6. And you agreed because last time we played a game with multiple controllers. You destroyed my Switch Pro controller. Face of unending sadness as he thinks about that poor, destroyed controller, lost to Mario Kart Rage. Oh, right. That BP game where a random blue shell can come up and snipe you when you're in the lead at any time. And who was it who launched that shell again? Wasn't it you, Electric Dunce? I'd say that destruction was deserved. Dot dot dot. What, that's not. Anyways. We think you'll have a lot more fun with this one Bakugo. It's got armies, conquering cities, tanks, and explosive weapons. It at least sounds better than the last one. But most importantly I already agreed to play it, so whatever. I call Gandhi. Bakugo blinks a bit from the force of her shout, a bit surprised. Alright, whatever Pinky. I'm choosing. Alright, I'm choosing Cleopatra. Bakugo paused mid-sentence as Ciro declares his choice for Cleopatra. Okay, I'll get. I've got Gilgamesh. Dot dot dot. Can I just choose my. Philip II for me. Bakugo grumbles and narrows his eyes at them, before selecting Teddy Roosevelt as his leader. The game started off smoothly, with few issues in the early game, when suddenly. Hey Bakugo, you got a religion yet? No, but I'll have one soon. Hum I see. Bakugo, let us be friends. Dot dot dot. Sure, BP hair. Thank you, you are a good friend. Gilgamesh shall remember this. Dot dot dot. What? BP hair, are you good, you sound. Bakugo, your army is as weak as a wet noodle, improve it. What oh I? Tape dispenser, you wanna go? I've been trying to build up my cities and deal with the science and religion stuff. Peace, Bakugo. Let peace fill your soul. Until you have access to the ultimate weapon, and then you can. Rain brimstone and fire upon your enemy cities. Pinky, what the beep is wrong with you? Suddenly, a wild AMR appears in the commons area. Oh, are you all playing a game for the viewers? If you're enjoying the video so far and seeing Bakugo angered by the Baku squad then give us a like and a subscribe, won't you? Sparkle Sparkle AMR barely manages to dodge a lamp thrown at him by the annoyed Bakugo. Get out of here Captain Sparkles, you annoying, weird, fake Frenchman. Speaking of him, he manages to finally found a religion, sighing as he set it up and got ready to spread it. Bakugo, I do not like that you have a different religion from me, fix that. He proceeds to send an apostle to Bakugo's closest city, trying to convert it to his religion. It's something Philip II would do after all. WHAOI. I just got this religion. Electric dance, I'm going to. You still have not improved your army, I therefore denounce you for being weak. Tape face I will absolutely destroy you in game and out of game if you say one more. Peace, Bakugo. Peace my friend, let US work together to crush those before US. That is the manly, friendly way to do it. Manly energies, away. Dot dot dot. You know, maybe you're not all that bad sometimes. Peace is the ultimate weapon. Beaming, happy face of peace. Until nukes come into play. Evil, maniacal face to absolutely no one's surprise. Civilization 6 Gandhi is ruthless after all. Bakugo returned to the game to send a missionary unit to one of Kaminari's cities to begin converting it. Hey, that's my city. Don't you try to convert it. What? You are just trying to convert my city. You little. Before things could get too out of hand, something interrupted the two from their argument. Maniacal <laughs> laughter. Muahahaha, I have obtained the ultimate weapon. 
enjoy a nuclear wasteland, boys. Bakugo, Kirishima, Kaminari, and Siro all turn their heads to Mina with a look of surprise on their faces, then to the game as somehow. Somehow Mina has gained the ability to launch nukes in the year 1000 BC in the game. And somehow gained a very large number. The boys could only watch in shock as Gandhi launched them at all of their cities and absolutely destroyed them, promptly ending the game as Mina howled with laughter. What no, my religion? How could you? My army. My troops. My friendship. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be, here. What how is that balanced? Oi, Pinky. You cheated, didn't you? Why you little? What followed was all of the guys chasing Mina around the dorms angrily, demanding a rematch where she didn't exploit the game so shamelessly. Oh yeah, we'll play this game again for sure. Next time, that is. The end. Thank you all so much for watching this shorter video today, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and let us know down below what other games, leaders from Civilization 6, or characters from other games we should involve next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon too. The idea for this came from when we were playing Civilization 6 the other day and encountered some leaders from the game being incredibly annoying, and this is what resulted from that. Thank you for watching once again, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.